South Korea and the North one produces many quite interesting and unique models, and I think there's a chance it'll appear in the game in the future. It's a convenient decision for such nations to be at. What? How dare you! Hello my friends, today we'll try to find out what 2022 might get us in War Thunder. After researching some data, I will show you what I've found that is not in game yet or still in a project. Do you think War Thunder is on all platforms? I mean, all possible platforms? Of course not, Gaijin was working on Nintendo Switch back in 2019. This is what is mentioned by CEO Anton Yudinsev to gaming boat website. The Nintendo Switch is an interesting platform. We have our SDK and development kits, and we are currently testing various technical solutions of porting War Thunder Engine to this console. It means it was or it is still under development. In my opinion, with the new OLED Switch model, it might be plausible. Only time will tell us. We had many question and answer sessions or news that made their way to the War Thunder website. Honestly and curiously, my sixth sense told me to check back there for some information. These information have nothing new for most of us, but a great reminder of what might come to War Thunder. Before we begin this, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It is the best thing you can do to help me in my channel with a nice light. Thank you very much. August 2019. Is it possible to add more armored vehicles and armored tracks to the higher ranks, like Humvees, Buggies, UAZ, Toyota, which historically carried weapon capable of hitting armored vehicles. They say yes, but the only one we have in that category is the Japanese anti-air Toyota. Where are the others? Can we consider it as being delayed by COVID? I hope so. Many variants of these vehicles could make it to the game to be continued. October 2019. Is it possible we will see a full Chinese helicopter in Naval Tree in the future? Many players are waiting for this Chinese helicopter tech tree. We have a good lineup for the top tier with aircraft, tanks, and now we're missing helicopters. Interestingly, they are planning to make a Chinese naval tech tree. Complex but doable, according to them. In November 2019, MMORPG.com interviewed Kirill Yudinsev creative director of War Thunder. During the interview, he does mention this. There will be several new tech trees, including Swedish ground forces, Chinese and Italian helicopters, and the Italian Navy. Only from that part, we can understand that the only thing missing is the Chinese helicopter tech tree. Later on, he says, players will also get newer jets and bigger ships, including battle cruisers. Talking about battle cruisers, Currently, we have three battle cruisers in War Thunder: Shornost, SMS von der Ten, HMS Invincible. If battle cruisers were planned for 2020, then the China helicopter tech tree must be around. February 2020. With the announcement of Swedish ground forces, can we expect a Swedish helicopter tree too? At least a premium helicopter in the meantime for support. Swedish helicopters are confirmed. And with the recent huge leak, we have a Swedish UA in the files. Another question from the same Q&A. With the advent of the Rucat being introduced to the UK tree, does this mean we could possibly see unique South African helicopters, such as the MI24 Super In and Danel Rui Valk? They don't exclude the possibility, but at that time, the South African line wasn't around yet. Today, we have a subtree for South Africa for tanks. Is it possible to have a subtree for helicopters from South Africa in UK3? I'd say yes. April 2020. Is it planned to implement premium vehicles with thermal imaging cameras in the Chinese, Soviet, or Italian research trees? The answer is yes, but Soviet received the Syrian T-72 terms and China WMA-301, and what about Italy? Nothing so far, the best is to come. February 2021. Can we expect to see the Sea Arrier for the Royal Navy aircraft branch in the future? 
perhaps also the Indian Navy FRS.51 with the Metro Magics. As you can see, the Sea Arriors are not in game yet. We might see it soon. April 2021. Do you plan to add a voice warning system bitching Betty in aviation? They say yes. It, this might be interesting for them. But for those who don't know what it means, here's a short example from the F-16 jet. Warning. Warning. Chaff flare. Chaff flare. Out. Chaff flare. Low. Jammer. Jammer. Some would say it's pretty annoying, but it is what it is. Next question. Are you planning to add the IL-40 and its modification? Of course. Some says it is the ancestors of the SU-25 frog food. With the addition of the South African Sub-3, does this mean we might still see a British light tank line with vehicles such as the Scorpion, Semerar, FV-721 Fox, Alvin Saladin and Ferret? They say yes. New light combat units from Great Britain are planted. British light tanks are still missing to this day. But they're still planted. Many vehicles that I've shown could be an excellent addition to the British tech tree. These are only one model of many variants of them. Curious about it? Check on Google. It's worth it. The only reason I'm not showing them, it's because I don't own the rights for these pictures. Next question. Are you continuing? To develop the functionality of suspended armor. They say yes, but the first question that comes to my mind is do Markava chains on the back of the turret will be implanted with the addition of Israeli tech tree? If you did not know, it is an anti heat protection. Last question of April 2021. Armor helicopters plan to expand the Italian helicopter tree. Short answer <laughs> yes, I'm still waiting these. To be honest, July 2021. Is there any possibility we may see a line of Finnish aircraft in the Sweden tech tree as we did with South African vehicles in the British ground forces tree? They don't plan a separate line, but adding Finnish aircraft in the Swedish tech tree is yes. If you look closely, MiG-21 MGBT, MiGs everywhere. Next question. In previous major updates, we saw the introduction of MiG-21 BIS, SU-17, and most recently the MiG-23M to the USSR Air Tree. Are there any plans to also introduce the MiG-21 BIS, SU-22, and MiG-23MF and ML to the East German line after the MiG-21MF in the future? We saw the MiG-23MF recently, but they also confirmed the ML version and the SU-22 like the new squadron vehicle. Next question, is it possible for the BTR-90 in vehicle based on it to appear in the game. They say yes, with several versions. Many players are waiting for this. Next question. Is there any work in progress on naval undering confrontation because existing short battles simply do not allow them to employ the full potential of their ships for their intended purpose? Also, could you run this mode for slightly longer than a period of three days? Honestly. Who did like the naval enduring confrontation? Me! Because it was a mode where you felt like a real naval battle. They are still on it. It's great. Next question. Do you have any plans to introduce the remaining aircraft from the Century series of American jet aircraft? Obviously, we can say that F-105 made its way to the game, with three more to come. Keep an eye on that, because they are confirmed. This completes the Q&A with the objective that might happen or not. Let's check the most recent video Q&A that lasted 46 minutes. Vyacheslav Bulanikov is answering many questions from the community. It is interesting, you will see. But first of all, who's Vyacheslav Bulanikov? He is the War Thunder producer. I will bring the questions from YouTube chapters from the Q&A video and bring you a short answer to avoid 46 minutes of watching a video. Timestamp 54 seconds. Talking about updating trees and bushes, they're planning to make significant changes for the next year and bringing graphics to a modern graphical standard, which is great. It will also improve maps by improving, I mean graphically. At 2 minute 16, they're talking about plans to improve true voices for ground vehicles. They said yes, the process of improving voice messages and true voices is ongoing. They will add new commands and improve the existing ones. 2 minutes 58. Any plans on expanding the BRs? BRs means battle ratings? Yes, but not right now. The reason? 
They don't want to expand battle rating because of the waiting time to get into the battle. They think queue time will increase way too high. After all, they will increase the upper limit, but not right now. 7 minutes. Any plans on expanding or reworking naval? They have plans for modern naval, but it will be challenging to balance ships with missiles. If your vessel doesn't have anti-missile defense system, it can be hard to play. If you read between the lines, it leaves space for submarines. Mean ships have anti-submarine weapons. We might miss some mechanics like hydroacoustic and sonar, but it is the kind of mechanic we can see as they expand the naval forces. What about helicopter events BR balance? This is the mode for helicopters only. They are aware of the actual unbalance issues. According to them, the low number of players playing this mode would make it challenging to separate helicopter players. They feel forced to do it like this. They want to create a new mode for helicopters in the nearest future. This could be interesting to fight Vietnam era helicopters versus Vietnam helicopters. Bringing some helicopters to a good balance will make the helicopter grind less painful for many players and accessible to many players as well. 11.8. About aircraft scouting like in the teaser, groundbreaking update. They say it is planned, but the one we saw in the teaser was only for dramatic scenes. They mention having plans for that, but they rather talk about the April Fool event 2020. The tiny drone launched from the tank. They plan to use it as a base to create something, like Ariat C1 tank can shoot a UAV from the main gun. 1356. Is battle pass available for simulation battles? No, since it would offer certain loopholes to players because they think it is unfair completion. Some players might try to rig challenges or daily tasks because of the low number of players in simulator. 1544. Do you have plans on lowering or just changing the grind? Quick answer is no. But they do reduce the grind every time they add new vehicles. Not enough in my opinion. Here is the graphic they present to us. They don't refund us somehow. If you ever played Wargaming games, then you will understand that they give XP and money back. It was something I had a hard time to accept when I came to War Thunder. 1807. Any plans to rework the reward system for team playing? No, because they think 300 silver lions is enough for an award or risking yourself to help an ally. What's the reason? It is easier to help an ally apparently, but how many times I pulled an ally without receiving points with my tool rope, or how many times I did help an ally under heavy fight and getting killed. I think they should increase these rewards. 1903. Why don't we have roadmaps? They bet on plans are useless, planning is priceless. It can also reduce the surprise for community. Imagine they make no teaser because we already know what is coming. It is not the same effect when they launch a new teaser. 2003. When will the new season of World War start? In the following year, so season 4 is about to hit War Thunder. A new balance mechanic and new features will be presented with this new World War season. 2035. Could we see any smaller countries in the future? South Korea has a chance to be in the game in the future. It seems that any advanced industrial nations have a chance to be in the game one day somehow. Think about Canada, North Korea, Australia, and much more. 2136. Track coupling with the ground to fix the sliding. It is possible that they make improvements in the soil physics. 2032. About armor degradation mechanics. No armor degradation planted out of era armor. Abandoned mechanic. 3339. New game modes for realistic battle. No, the capture points fits the real world military operations. 2708. New game modes for fleet? They don't see anything wrong to change. They are working to bring back enduring confrontation. Honestly, I love to play that. It was fun. And it was a large scale battle. But even by mentioning the 9km spawn away of each other in battleships, they don't see any issues. Uh, okay, really? Like, can I move a bit before getting shot? 2839. Is it possible to see a Nordic tech tree with Swedish and Finnish vehicles? They say yes, but it will remain in the Swedish tech tree. They will add Finnish vehicles to the Swedish branch, like South Africa and British branch. Finland will be added 
to fill gaps in the Swedish tech tree and other Scandinavian countries will be added as premium vehicles or event vehicles. 2939. Will we have a historical matchmaking? No, they keep it for World War mode because a balancing might be harder for random battles. They will keep making small events with certain sets of vehicles to make historical events. 3126. Will we see a rework for a realistic battle? No, they won't make any major changes about it. Helicopters will not join Air RB anytime soon either. They will improve the mode, but some additions and improvements might appear. I doubt anything to change soon. 3319. Can you tell us something about helicopter PVE? They have tested the new mode and it looks promising according to the devs. They will make a new stage of testing soon with external testers. We can expect to see it coming this year if they are at the final test with external players. 3404. Are you planning to reward the repair cost? Why is this guy asking this question? Because they removed the reward for tanking damage. Instead, they raised the number of points received upon death. At the end, they don't change anything. This is what they say, but today they bring us to vote for what we want. 3612. Are you planning to change rewards for entering the game? They talk about the login rewards. You know the one that you wish to have 1 million silver lions? Well, they said that the decal was the purpose of it, which is true, but they will bring something that will interest players. Much more than only a single decal and universal backup. Let's cross the finger to get something better. 3635. Will we have air and fleet confrontation as common game modes? For game events, yes, but not for random battles. 3654. About the balance of AM South. Rebalancing is possible with minor aspects only. The aircraft at top BR becomes more and more powerful. They will fix the missiles so it can be harder at long distance to hit a target with missiles we control with a mouse. They will balance AA after fixing missile maneuverability. 4321. About mechanics for eating the missiles with ER homing head. Modern missile will get simplified launch conditions and they will keep the same mechanic for other missiles. In conclusion, these are the things announced from Gaijin up to this day. For the next Q&A cover, I will make it at the same time of the year and without COVID, I will make it to see the progress during the following year. Thank you to everyone for your support in the last month. I did work with COVID and school and it wasn't easy. Everything will come back to its normal state and I will help you with the Battle Pass videos. Keep joining my Discord and subscribe. Spread the love and have a wonderful day my friends.